Thank you. Oh, it's going to be a bear getting through this one. <laughs> Greetings. You know, every now and then, a film is created that restores your faith in the art of storytelling. A film that sets light within your soul and shines like a grand beacon of sublime, dramatic divinity. So exquisite, it can raise you to a higher level of consciousness. Then, there are films that just make you go, Oh my God! Here's your damn ranch show, folks. Greetings, I am E. Adam Thomas, and this is Film Rants, your source for credible movie reviews and gratuitous fucking profanity. Tonight we come to you live on location from the town of Nilbog for a look at the movie Troll 2, a film so fucking bad it can't even win awards for being a bad film. I mean, seriously, it's so bad it actually alleviates some of the stink of having to watch Manos, The Hands of Fate. It's not even an actual sequel to the first Troll film. They just called it Troll 2 to cash in on the, um, the popularity of its predecessor. The basic premise is about a small boy who is followed by the spirit of his dead grandpa, who is trying to keep the kids safe from a bunch of hideous people eating goblins. In fact, the kid is, only, is the only character who shows even the slightest glimmer of intelligence whatsoever. The father is about as ignoramic as they come, the mother acts like a Stepford wife on mescaline, and he has an older sister who would have died horribly and topless in the first 10 minutes of any Friday the 13th sequel. Directed by Claudio Fragasse under the pseudonym of Drake Floyd, this 1990 film cost less than $200,000 to make and it looks pretty much like they blew most of the budget on green food coloring and mind-altering drugs for the screenwriter, who, as you might guess, was also Claudio Fragasso. Supposedly, in, this, in his homeland of Italy, he is an award-winning political film director. I gotta kinda wonder about the man's sanity, though. Some years ago, he crashed a cast reunion for Troll 2 and was escorted out of the room, heckling the cast from the hall and calling them liars and dogs as they tried to answer fan questions. Apparently, he considers this one of his best films. And he's reportedly writing a sequel called Troll 2 Part 2 because, let's face it, if there's one thing he's good at, it's coming up with a catchy original fucking title. The acting is so amateurish, it seems like they took classes to be that bad. Again, the only decent actor in the whole damn film is the kid, played by Michael Stephenson. He at least invests himself in the role and is somewhat believable. The rest of the cast? Forget it. They're pathetic. Especially the dad, played by George Hardy, whose main stock in trade is as a dentist. Call me. And whose performance is almost as painful as a triple root canal. On second thought, don't call me. The script is awful. The cinematography is pathetic. And the costumes, the troll costumes themselves? I mean, fuck me gently with an industrial grade cheese grater. I've seen better monster costumes on discount clearance at Walmart on the weekend after Halloween. These trolls or goblins or whatever the fuck they are look exactly like what they are. Bad costumes on alcoholic dwarves. These guys are not like Billy Barty or Peter Dinklage. These are depressed, self-hating, cash-desperate little people who honestly deserve better. If I were a little person and answered this casting call, 
I probably would have walked out of the audition and sworn off acting in perpetuity. The fact that this piece of diuretic horseshit has somehow become a cult classic is so fucking beyond my comprehension, it's not even funny. I've seen better shit crapped onto YouTube by a bunch of drunken frat boys trying to prank a sorority girl into dancing topless with two dead squirrels duct taped to her ass while a 40 pound cat with Down syndrome repeatedly shits itself on a poster of Tom Cruise. Hey, you know, some nights you're drunk, you can't sleep, you get bored, you start typing random words into the search bar, next thing you know. Anyway, here's the worst thing about this movie. No tits. Not one. This movie is so bad they couldn't even get one coked out stripper to do a gratuitous topless shot. Seriously. I mean, that's the only reason we sit through movies like this, is the hope of seeing some goddamn tits at least. There's not even so much as an accidental nipple slip. I mean, what in the fucking ghost of Wes Craven's last house on the left is up with that shit? You have a bunch of crappy-ass goblin masks, a bunch of shitty-ass actors with no talent, less special effects budget or expertise than a high school AV club project. At least you can give us a fucking tit shot. Come on, Claudio. You're fucking Italian. Italian filmmakers are notorious for that shit. You couldn't have just given us, get, get, had the sister bend over in a loose shirt once. Fuck you, cannoli breath. Give me some goddamn boobs. Sorry. On to the rantometer. Artistic gets a zero. Coolness gets a one. Only for the fact that I can see how it would be mildly entertaining if you downed a bottle of Fireball, took some shrooms, and watched this movie while gently electrocuting your balls with a 9-volt battery. Originality gets another zero. And for the suckitude factor, bingo! This film gets a five. Troll 2 gets a score of minus 4, and that's being generous. It's not even bad enough to be good. This movie could suck start a galaxy-class starship into transwarp. And so could your mom, for that matter. Huh. Don't forget, you can suggest films for me to rant about on social media using the hashtag FilmRantsEAT. Whether you like them, hate them, doesn't matter. I'll tell you what I think of them and what you should think of them. You can also tell me to go fuck myself, for all I care. Next week, I'm going to look at the classic psych-out noir film, Dark City, starring Kiefer Sutherland, Jennifer Connelly, and Richard O'Brien. Nobody suggested it directly, but I heard some co cockhead say something nasty about it last week in the checkout line at Safeway, and I just want to set the little fucktard straight once and for all. Good night, and don't eat the green icing. Angry Men Reviews. Many fucks said, no fucks given. A dirty fuck! Who wants to buy a cat? <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish this did have whiskey in it. <laughs>